Oh my god, if you only knew how hard it is going to be to take off this makeup, it's going to be a mess. <sighs> Hey my holo queens! My name is Ashley for any of those that are new and if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. Today is vlogging day 9 and I am, as you can see in the title, doing this crazy undead rave makeup look. This is my first time doing a Halloween makeup tutorial so please bear with me, be nice, please, please, but I obviously I'm taking the stuff off now. But I want you guys to actually see the finished look at the end because I am just so excited with how this turned out. So I'm actually really surprised. And even in the video, I actually say that if I like it, it will be on YouTube. If I don't like it, I'm probably not going to post it because it's my first Halloween makeup tutorial. So, so if you guys want to see how I do this makeup, just keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So as you can see here, I already have half my face done. Just um, kind of like planning it out with the colors, trying to figure out how it's going to interact both these neon colors together. That's how my hand is right now. But so far I am liking this. This is definitely different for like a neon kind of skull look. But I'm really going for like the after effect of how it looks with the UV black light. So that's why I kind of did it like this. So the light would hit the light highlight parts and then you would also see the parts from the pink as well. So that's why I kind of did like that. So first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to outline where our cheekbones and our jawline is and bear with me. Hopefully I can get this right and actually get it leveled. So I'm actually going to be using my Jeffree Star Morphe palette and I'm going to be using the black shade because it's super pigmented. So bear with me. Hopefully I can get this. What you can do is you can feel around for your cheekbones. So like mine kind of goes like right here. So hopefully I get this right. I mean it looks about right. So I'm going to go with that. I mean, it looks about right, so I'm going to go with that, and I will tweak it along the way. I'm, like, so nervous that I'm not going to get it right. I'm low-key freaking out. This is the first time I ever did a tutorial like this on my channel. Or, I wouldn't even say tutorial because, I mean, I'm not the greatest. But, I mean, I put effort into it, people, okay? I try to be creative. But, that being said, this is my first time. So, I'm a little nervous. Well, it's my first time doing, like, a Halloween look kind of deal like this. So. Okay, alright. So, if we're getting there. Super. Right now, I'm really just trying to get all like the outlines. And then after that, I will go in to start like shading them. So for a majority of the pink that you see shaded on me, it actually does light up with the UV light. And I'm using the Four Seasons by KK Beauty. I used February 23rd. This is one of the UV light shades that actually works with the UV light. So what I do now is everywhere where I have the lines, I'm just going to pat it around on it pretty thick because I will end up kind of blending it out into lighter spots on my face. And now I can actually do my lips and everything. Do I look like a psychopath or what? So I know this seems like it's a bit much right now, 
but I promise you once I get to the end of this it will all tie together <laughs> So I'm going to take the M506 and I'm going to take that fast lane from the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette and I'm going to start shading it in in various places where I know that it's going to have a lot dark spots everywhere. So usually right here because there's death in the jaw, you want to keep it like that. I know I look like I'm a psychopath right now. I promise I'm not. And I'm just kind of bringing this up as well to the front of the eyebrow and I'm just going to end up blending it out with that pink. Then you put a little bit on your under lip. Wow, I look so freaking weird right now. Like, I don't even know how much I'm going to like this. If it's up, then obviously I liked it enough. But I don't know. We shall see about that. And then always remember to do your temple area because this right here is really important to outline the face. I don't know if you guys can tell how nervous I am right now, but um, I'm like so nervous I'm going to mess up or something. Don't know why I'm just really nervous right now. So, And then I'm going to take that February 23rd and I'm going to go around the edges of my head. Because we will blend in and make everything according to. Hopefully. I feel like this cheekbone is different than this cheekbone. That's better. I had it kind of like. There, that's better. That's a lot better. Okay. I don't know what was off. And then I'm going to start blending this in over here. I know I look absolutely nuts right now. I promise I'm working on it. It's going to come together. I'm pretty much using like the last of like whatever is on the brush to actually like kind of get it colored on my skin if that makes any sense because i am too nervous to care right now <laughs> okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this small brush right here and i'm going to slowly do my nose because my nose is huge i know i have a big nose it's okay And then you're going to take a old like beauty blender and you're just kind of pat around any of the loose eyeshadow. Some people prefer to use paint. Um, since this is my first time, I decided to use eyeshadow, especially since this eyeshadow was compatible with the UV light. So that's pretty much why I used eyeshadow instead of paint. Because I actually do not have any UV paint yet. Shocking, I know. I have everything else except for UV paint. Don't get it. 
I'm just really nervous, you guys. I am so sorry. I was coming in here thinking like, oh yeah, I got this. I'm gonna be so good at this and no. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking these electric cake liners by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Sorry, it's a little messy. I use it a lot, but I'm taking those and I'm doing the details on my eyes right now. And I use this on the lid and underneath. And whenever I have access, I just and I'm just blending that in to my crease. And I'm blending it underneath here. Just so when I go back over with that pink, it has a little bit of extra pop that's underneath it. So when I go over it with the February 23rd, it's still going to have that pop of that electric pink that's underneath whenever I go to do the UV light. So... That is why I'm doing that. Okay, and then I'm taking Halloween from the Four Seasons palette by KK Beauty. And I'm just dabbing like a little bit of that on my inner corner. Just so whenever I do the UV light, it's just a little bit extra detail. Which this glitter, like pressed glitter, is actually compatible with the UV light as well. Which I thought was really cool. Okay, now it's starting to come together a lot better. I'm not feeling as stressed out now. Whew. Just gonna blend the shit out of this. Because that's what I do, is I blend the shit out of everything. Okay, now I'm going to start lining up the teeth on the other side. So, I'm just gonna put little lines. To like start out the spacing. Sometimes you have to adjust them. I'll line them up afterwards. But pretty much this part, what I did is I took my Paradise palette from Maron. This is super messy because I use it a lot too. Don't worry, I'm gonna clean it. But I use different brushes and whenever I use my brushes, I clean my brushes. So, and I'm only using it on me. I'm not using it on anyone else. So, if I were to use it on someone else, I would use a brand new one and I would clean it and use alcohol to, of course, clean it properly. So, what I do is I take this pink and this white and I mix it together and make like a light pink to add some highlight. And it makes it easier to go over with the neon yellow as well. That is what I'm doing there. And I'm just going to touch up. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to outline where I'm going to have my teeth. It's okay if it does not match with your lines. We are going to fix the lines anyways and shade them in. And what's great about this is it's water activated, so once it dries, you can just add some more water and just keep on going with the show. So now I have my teeth laid out like I did on the other side and I'm just kind of bring them up a little bit kind of like giving a back base so whenever I go to do the neon the neon will like stick out really well. So now I'm going to finish outlining my teeth.
Now I'm going to go in with the white. It's okay if it's not perfect at first because it's a working progress. And of course, it's how you like it. And I never like how I do my makeup. So that being said. Okay, so now I got the rest of the teeth outlined. I'm going to go ahead and go in and do the neon, and then I'm going to shade around it and fix it. I'm a professional, you guys. I got this. And now I'm just going to take that neon pink and I'm going to work on bringing those down on the teeth. So now I'm going to take that neon yellow and I'm going to start doing the details for my jawline. Then now I'm going to do my eyes. Wow, I can't believe I actually got that on like first go. It actually went well. So now what I'm doing is I am just doing the nose details. And, you know, just adding little pops of neon. Little details like that. I think that is it for the neon. So I'm just going to go straight in for some of the shading of the fast lane from the Morphe and Jeffree Stars palette. So I start shading in the lips. <laughs> Oh, 
Now I'm just gonna add some little details for like the collarbones. <laughs> And then I think instead of highlighting with the neon yellow, I think I'm going to try to splatter some on me. Maybe that would be cool. Usually you take like a loose, like floppy brush. Um, this is an eyeshadow brush, but it's so floppy it just kind of works. I think this will look cool whenever I have the black light on, so. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I know it's a little different from your usual, like, neon skulls, but this one I was trying to make actual neon to shine under UV light. So, but this is it while it's done. Um, I showed you where to accent like the lighter parts and then the darker parts and things like that. So I'm not quite done yet. I have a little get together that I'm gonna put together on me and then I will be right back for a little bit of neon montage. So this is how it turned out you guys with the black light on I'm doing a little close-up for you guys but yeah this is it no lights on just the black light on I don't know how you guys are liking this if you're liking it if you're not liking it okay you guys so for the body piece I took a old corset I had from the Renaissance Festival that I used to dress up as an elf with and I just spray paint it with a fluorescent pink spray paint it took quite a few coats but I finally got it and then I took this old petticoat shirt that I had for the red slots and I spray painted this fluorescent yellow. And that's how I came up with the body piece. And then the wig is just this old wig that I got from Party City. It's really old. So I was planning on throwing away anyway, so I decided to spray paint it as well. The headpiece, I took some foam stars and I glued it on some zip ties that I tied and cut to this headpiece which is just a headband wire. I took more of the stars and I cut them in. I also glued them as well. And then I just spray paint it into this ombre effect halo. And that's how I got this. Okay, you guys, well, I am starting to sweat. I have no AC in this room. It's getting hot and I got a corset on and everything like that. So I'm really loving this crown, by the way. But that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed my first halloween makeup video that's crazy i thought this turned out kind of cool my eyebrows are doing like this weird thing but yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna throw away this wig after this more than likely but i hope you guys enjoyed the headpiece and everything that i put together anyways and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what else you want to see for Vlogween, what other makeup looks that you want to see, and then if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, because there will be another video here tomorrow at 4pm Eastern Standard Time. I'm a mess, I need to go take a shower, so I will see you guys in the next video, love you!